We have more on the grand jury that formed to look over the Daniel Prude case. Transcripts from the proceedings were released today by the Attorney General. This is a very rare move. As you might remember, Daniel Prude died a week after an encounter with Rochester police. This happened in March of last year. It sparked protests and outrage in our area. The Attorney General came to our area, said she would investigate. It was sent to a grand jury. The grand jury met several times over the course of the winter, and the transcripts from those proceedings were released today. So we got witness testimony that the grand jury got to see. That grand jury ultimately decided not to send up any charges against any of the Rochester police officers involved. Kayla Green has been digging through the paperwork. She joins us now in studio. Kayla, what have you found so far? Well, Adam, we are still going through the documents. There's a lot to go through here. The grand jury vote, though, was ultimately 15 to 5, ultimately resulting in not indicting these officers. Now, the medical examiner testified, saying the cause of death was a combination of the complications from the asphyxia that was due to the excited delirium, which was due to the PCP intoxication. He testified there is documentation of chemical changes within Daniel Prude's body that were associated with his respiratory failure. He says there were no notable injuries in the cardiovascular or respiratory systems. There's also testimony from the officers who were on scene that night. One who didn't go hands-on with Prude himself says Prude kept trying to get up and was kicking his feet. The officer says that's why one officer initially made contact, even though Prude was handcuffed behind his back. He says three officers engaged in the segmenting technique, which he says is taught in training. He says Prude's condition later changed, his breathing became labored, and his position changed a bit, and he vomited. Another officer who was on scene and did go hands-on with Prude testified that he admits to laughing at some of the, quote, off-the-wall things Prude was saying after he had been handcuffed. An EMT that responded to the scene also testified, saying, quote, Working in Rochester, I've seen many individuals being restrained, but I've never quite seen somebody be restrained in this manner. He says he was questioning if police officers were able to do what he saw these officers doing to restrain Prude, saying, quote, I was very alarmed and I was initially very shocked because anyone in emergency medicine knows that one of the scariest positions to be in is to have a patient who goes into a cardiac arrest with handcuffs behind their back. Now, the ME also says the manner of Prude Prude's death is a homicide because his death occurred at the hands of another. Adam. All right, Kayla, thank you. Now, if you want to read more than the thousand pages of transcripts that are out there right now, this of uh, 45 hours of deliberation, we have all of that for you inside this story at rochesterfirst.com.